Well, the men who matter all in readiness here for the toss. Mike Proctor, the match referee from South Africa. Shoaib Malik, Pakistan. Mahendra Singh Dhoni, India. It's a five rand coin that's going to be spun up. MS, all yours. Up she goes. Heads is the call. A hit. It is a head. Well, Shoaib, you won the toss. What have you decided? We bowl first. Any particular reason for that? Well, it's been raining uh, since uh, last night, so that's why we decided bowl first. Uh, what's the feeling in the camp? Pretty relaxed. You won one game, but it's India you're playing against. Well, it is a bit relaxing at the moment, but whenever you're playing against India, it's always a pressure game. So, inshallah, we'll give our 100% and looking forward to win this game. And uh, what's your composition of the side today? Any changes from the last game? Well, we have one change. Mohammad Afiz is not playing, and uh, instead of Mohammad Afiz playing with uh, Tanvir, his left arm pacer. All the best for today's game, Shoaib. Thank you. Well, MS disappointed? Not really, because it's 20 over game, and I don't think the wicket really changes a lot, you know, during the course of the game. So I don't really think toss really matters in this. Captain of India and up against Pakistan. Tense? Not really. It's always a crucial game. You know, this is our first, first 2020 match in the World Cup. You know, yesterday was washed off. So it's a good game for us and we are looking forward to it. And uh, how, what's the uh, morale in the dressing room? Pretty relaxed. They would be disappointed that they didn't get a game yesterday. Well, of course, yesterday, if, if you would have played yesterday, it would have been good for us, you know, getting some match before, before playing a crucial game against Pakistan. But of course, we are quite relaxed and we had a good tour of of England and especially the boys who came from India, they were they were practicing hard over there. So all over, it's a quite relaxed dressing room. And uh, the composition of your side today? Well, it's the same same eleven that we were supposed to play yesterday, and uh, no changes. And uh, who are the blokes not playing? Rohit Sharma is not playing. Then Yusuf is not playing, and a couple of other guys. Well, enjoy it, Mohendra. Thanks a lot. Well, that's the news from the centre. Pakistan have won the toss and decided to field first. That's a cracking delivery. I heard Ramiz Raja saying he's got a good track record against the uh, left-handers. Uh, that's a kind of delivery that will trouble uh, most left-handers. He really had to play at that one. And with two slips in place, Pakistan on the attack straight away. And they've got to look at Mohammad Asif's role as a wicket-taking role. He doesn't have a lot of pace, so his value is up front with the new ball when the ball is new and when the ball is swinging. He's taken it! Good reaction from Mohamed Asif. Gambir was looking to smack him down the ground. He takes it on the second attempt. And Pakistan strike early. Well, it was Gautam Gambir who lost his nerves, not the bowler. Uh, India been rocked early by Mohamed Asif with his third delivery. India still to get off the mark, not quite getting it in the middle of the bat. But uh, good reactions from Mohamed Asif. Takes it on the second attempt. And Pakistan have drawn first blood. Zero for one, India. And he comes out to bat at number three in the batting order. The Indians will be tense uh, just because of the fact that they didn't play yesterday. This is the opening game. First runs on the ball. India one for one. That's flicked away in style. First boundary of the game. That's typical Sevak. Uttapa getting into the act. We'll get a couple for it. This outfield will not be at its quickest because we've had a lot of rain in the last 48 hours. Bound him off the inside edge. Two wickets and two overs for Asif. He struck twice. India in a spot of border. Nine for two. The conditions are right for us, if really. Well, this is how he was dismissed. 
really a nothing shot from Sevag wasn't uh, the right shot to play the ball off the inside edge cannoning into the stumps he's got that away and it's not that quick an outfield but it'll still reach the boundary 14 for two after three uh, this is what uh, the teams are playing for trophy the 2020 World Cup that's a good strike that's where he's good with the puck doesn't mind taking the area route but uh, is at his best when he looks to play straight That's shipped in the air, should be taken. It's off the leading edge. Yuvraj goes, Shoaib Malik, the captain, making no mistake. And India now in trouble. Three frontline batsmen dismissed. And once again, it's Asif. His third wicket, Yuvraj Singh would be disappointed with his shot selection. Gone for one, India struggling 19 for three now. Trying to work the ball away towards the leg side, leading edge, no problems for Shoaib Malik, a lot of problems for India. Really was, uh, in the end, turned out to be a reckless effort. Instead of playing straight towards the offside or straight back, turn the bat towards the leg side and uh, an easy take for the Pakistani captain. Dinesh Karthik comes out to the middle. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's a brave shot from Karthik to get off the mark. And even Asif applauds that. That's pressed away. Gave himself a bit of room and smashed it through the offside. It's 28 for three. Good hit from Karthik. Aggressive intent is being shown to the bowler. That's uh, kind of put a dampener, dampener on uh, him. It's all wide. It's, it's too high. Too high. Simon Toffel puts his hands up, another ball, another run. Got him! There you go, says Mohammad Asif, and the ploy of giving him the extra over has worked. This could well be the spell of the tournament so far. Indeed. Not only he has swung the ball around, but he got the bounce as well. And he has picked up four wickets. Then Eshkartik gone for 11 rounds. India 36 for four. Once again, inside edge onto the off stump. That's a familiar fashion how Mohammad Asif gets his wickets. Likes to nip the ball back into the batsman. And once again, rewarded. Who would have thought that being bowled out was a possibility? But to Muhammad Asif is bowling the spell of the tournament. It's one thing to have the conditions, it's quite another to be able to use them. A second slip comes in. That's like having seven in a test match. Fight on his hands for Dhoni. So far, second best figures. Muhammad Asif, just 18 runs he has given away for four wickets. The best has been Mark Gillespie, this particular ground. Right, are we going to look at a second year? Yes, they're going for two. That's well run. It's been a problem area for India, but they're running hard today. Right, the key now, and that's what India are thinking about, how much are these conditions going to change by the time they come out to bowl? That's what happens if you do. 
Nine overs gone. And India sneak a second run and well run, Dhoni. 47 for four. Hard man. That is a hit. That is a super hit. First one goes over the ropes. That's why they were leaving the left-handed bowlers balls outside the off stump. They were showing respect. They have targeted Yasser Arafat and that's what he has done so beautifully. Came down to the track with all the positivity and hit the ball beautifully out of the ground. Maximum. Right. May not go that heavy outfield. Didn't come on the center of the bat. Oh, should have been three. That Dhoni wanted three. Run, Robin. It's a bit like a high school game. This is going to be run, run, guys. Well, Robin Mutapa would be very annoyed with himself because he knew the baller was pissed, going to pitch the ball short and he was ready for it would hit the ball out of the middle of the bat this is gone this time he has missed he has lost it in the open and the ball has disappeared in the crowd six runs he hits a good hard ball does Robin Utapa play like that all his life you just get the feeling that there's a difference in pace and a slight difference in ability here Arafat isn't doing too much off the deck. Gone, gone. 15 from the over already with two to play. And he has a very good quicker delivery. That's a good shot. No need to run for that. Superb placement from Utapa. The opportunity was there once there was wit, but the execution was good. Yes, he's been impressive. Uh, Utapa played uh, a real blinder of an innings in the uh, one day at uh, the Oval to win India the game. He got his hands to it, and that was firmly struck. Dhoni comes back for two. That's good. Uh, from India's point of view, you've got two quick runners out there. That would have hurt. And you can see just on the tip of his fingers. It goes again. Powerfully struck. Beats the man at long off. Second boundary of the over. And Utapa on fire now. 49 from 36. Cutting it from the stumps. Uh, a good over for India. 12 runs of it. 12 gone. It's 82 for four. And Robin Otapa. Well, a very good 50 for Robin Otapa. And these are trying conditions and he's batted uh, exceptionally well. I think his shot selection has been good. Now Tanvir goes past the outside edge. In fact, takes the outside edge. So Pakistan striking straight after the break. And Sohail Tanvir getting his first wicket. And a fine innings from Uttapa coming to an end. He's feeling for it, looking to run it down and getting the outside edge. Kamran Akmal making no mistake. That's a wicket Pakistan wanted because Uttapa was looking dangerous. And a good partnership uh, being broken there. Uttapa departing for 50, 82 for 5. And the first wicket for Sohil Tanvir. Irfan Patan has come out to the middle. This is a comeback for him. It's an inside edge to get off the mark.
And he's a clever bowler, isn't he? Shahid Afridi bowls his leg spin, bowls those sliders, the quicker balls, varies his pace well. Just wonder whether Ramiz, this rain will affect him holding the ball. That's massive from Irfan Patan. Incredible hit. The attempted leg spinner from Shahid Afridi and it was deposited up in the top tier by Irfan Patan. Well, that is a superb blow. He's airmailed that ball out of the ground. In cow corner, that's gone over the back of the stand, bounced out of the ground. Six to Earth and Patan, and India need a few more of them. They're going to be competitive tonight. That's another massive hit, another six. Giving Shahid Afridi his own treatment. Crowds love it. Oh, a fantastic strike again. He's not worried about Afridi's variation. He's just down the wicket, no nonsense. Back to ball, straight in the crowd. He's gone. Patan's gone, going for a third one. Hundred, India 111 for six. Cleverly bold delivery from Shahid Afridi. It was the odd off cutter that didn't spin at the better or Irfan Patan in the end. He was once again looking to uh, play an aggressive shot, then had to check it in the end because of the variation that was produced by Afridi. Harper and Singh comes to the wicket. That's a great shot from the Indian captain, Mahinda Singh Dhoni, as the rain comes down. The straight drive, always profitable in any form of cricket, 2020, 50 over test matches, never any fielders behind the bowler. Pakistan had a long on in place, but he had no chance in the end because this was expertly hit, beautiful shot. There's been a lot of uh, orthodoxy from Mahinder Singh Dhoni in this inning so far. He hasn't taken a lot of risk. It takes it flat. Miss Umar goes stretch. India on a roll here. Three sixes in two overs. That's got them dancing. Well, great excitement here. Dhoni following the straight drive. Yasser Arafat dropping short this time. Just helping it on its way. Down to long leg and going flat straight into the advertising boards. What a strike. Fine leg has been asked to come in the ring. A big appeal from the keeper, Cameron Atmel, but the bowler didn't go up. That ball cut back, and uh, Harbhajan Singh was in the end quite lucky. There was a sound. Possibly an edge. Kamran Akmal reacted very sharply straight away, but uh, the umpire was not moved. And a shot at the stumps. They go through for a single. Oh, just come back and Shiva Freedy has taken a wicket with his first ball after the rain break. So disaster for India, Harbhajan Singh, he departs. India, 123 for seven. This is what can happen to a batting side when uh, there is a pause. First ball after the break, Harbhajan Singh uh, with that wild slot aiming for the mid-wicket boundary for a huge hit. It was pretty conclusive from Shahid Afridi. He picks up another wicket. Impressive opening spell, three overs, naught for 17, no wickets, but very accurate. That's
That's a wonderful strike from Ajit Dagarkar. Now, this is his natural length, which is back of the length. He can also bowl Yorkers. I think the idea is really now to uh, get the length a little fuller. Provided the width to the uh, Indian batsman, Ajit Agarkar, is a very handy bat. Avoided Miss Bowlhuck in the deep. Really winded up, found uh, space through the offside square. Well, this is not good cricket from Umar Gul. Extremely efficient stuff from Ajit Agarkar. Someone has got to knock uh, some sense into Umar Gul. He's got to bowl those Yorkers. He can deliver those deadly blows with that length, that fuller length. Well, the norm in this stage is to bowl the ball in the block hole, settle for one a ball. That's standard practice at the end of any one-day game, 2020 or 50 over game. If you bowl length, you give the batsman the opportunity to get his arms through it. It can go leg side, it can go off side, it can fly anywhere. You've got to aim for the base of the leg stump or for the batsman's shoes. That's up in the air. Will this be taken? It's a wet ball and cleanly picked up by Yunus Khan. They had the best fielder patrolling the boundary line. Dhoni goes. Pakistanis are ecstatic. This has turned out to be a good effort from them so far. Eight wickets down. India 138 for eight. Slice that hit. It didn't come off the middle of the stick. With rain falling, it was a quality catch from Yunus Khan. He's a safe fielder. And Dhoni really had to go for the big hit. Didn't middle it. And he's out. Plenty of drama out there. Kamran Akmal realizing very quickly that uh, this was uh, not the script that he was supposed to follow. Direct hit and he's gone. Kamran Akmal hitting the bullseye and hit it when it mattered most. 20 overs bowl, India 9 down, 141. And Pakistan can afford a smile because uh, they were very, very efficient in the field well here's the final wicket Srithan missing the ball running through is the right thing to do but Karamat had all the time in the world just to hit the stump for the run out brilliant job done by Pakistan Shoaib Malik and his team tonight have been absolutely fantastic India 141 off their 20 overs Well, that represented a bit of a comeback actually 141 for 9 Robin Uthar by carrying on his good form from England 50 from 39, a nice little cameo from Irfan Patan and Dhoni again playing a nice little responsible innings. Ajit Agarkar's 14 might have made the difference between 125 and 141. But a fine performance by Pakistan's bowlers, especially early on. And Mohammad Asif showed why he is rising up the ranks of world bowlers very rapidly. 4 for 18 and Sohel Tadvir, they never really picked him. 4 overs, 1 for 18, the runs came of uh, Afridi and Yasir Arafat. Straight away, getting the ball to move away from the left-handed batsman. And that's a healthy sign for the Indian bowlers. They require plenty of wickets to be back in this game against Pakistan. They require such a start. In the air, in the gap, and the first boundary. Imran Nazir is off the mark with style. That's a wide delivery and a no ball. And it's going to be a free hit for Imran Nazir. That'll help. I don't think he needs a free hit the way he's playing, do you? Free hit means that Mahinda Singh Dhoni, the Indian captain, cannot change the field. Imran Nazir can have a free go at this ball. No chance of getting out. Well, that was a slow delivery. Well spotted by Imran Nazir, but the execution wasn't that great. Not quite middling the ball, getting the inside edge. And three runs. Up. 
inside edge. And they're leaping up. They are appealing to the umpire. And the umpire is looking at the, at the non-striker umpire whether Dhoni was able to catch it cleanly. They're going to consult, that's for sure. Well, and they're just consulting Simon Tolfo and Billy Doctrove. If Billy Doctrove is not sure, he can ask for a third umpire decision here. Well, the decision already has been made by the officiating umpires on field. This will be a very interesting replay. You can't really tell. It was just a matter of time. The way he was swinging his back, one good delivery was always going to do the trick. First wicket for the Indians. Well, that's just a gift of a wicket to India. Imran Nazir just throwing his wicket away. He departs, heads bowed in shame. Pakistan 12 for one. It looks terrible, this. What sort of a shot that was. And especially from an opener. Any aspiring young opener should look at that one. Cameron Atwell, the wicket keeper, coming in at three. Well, he did learn from the advice. Testing on Kamran Akmal with a shot with delivery, and he's been penalised with four runs. RP Singh must have heard Cameron Akmal's commentary there as he came in. He likes the pull shot, so he thought he'd test him out. Bad move. And the bowler is not learning. Once again, testing the batsman with a short fish delivery. And this time, the result is different. It's six runs. <laughs> Nicely played. Full toss on his toes and nicely worked away for four runs. This will give a lot of confidence to Salman Bhatt. Oh, lovely drive through the onside. Just pure timing from Salman Bhatt. And even though the outfield is just a little heavy because of rain, it was so well timed that the ball won the race from Ajita Gurkha. Should be a real confidence booster for Salman Bhatt. You can see really uh, it was timing and not uh, power because there was no follow through whatsoever. Excellent shot. Oh. Nicely placed by Salman Bhatt. Welcome Gambir uh, with the effort. It was Dinesh Karthik in fact. Edge and taken by Dhoni. The finger has gone up. Salman Bhatt was struggling to counter that off stump line. In the end, he nicks one to Dhoni. Another wicket goes down. Pakistan now 44 for two. Trying to run the ball down to third man. Uh, not Just not getting anywhere near it. Bending his back just a little and uh, not a great shot from Salman but that not coming down straight at that ball hanging his bat and a uh, faint edge to Dhoni did the job Yunus Khan is in and he's off the mark of the first ball that he faced Target chance directly. Gotta go. This time it's you, Rat Singh. Kamran Akmal lost the plot. India have picked up another quick wicket. And this has got to damage Pakistan quite badly because Kamran Akmal was looking good. 
Well, I just said that Yuvraj is very accurate with his throws, and uh, he's just shown that uh, by getting Kamran Akmal run out, 47 for three. Shweb Malik is the new man in. After uh, eight overs with the white ball, it's a little bit difficult to swing the ball. So Irfan Patan's not getting much movement, but at least uh, it's been a good over from the Indian point of view. No runs so far from the over. Bowled it inside edge. In fact, it hit the glove, and Irfan Patan is off the mark. This is good cricket from India. They've been very bright in the field, and this is uh, what Irfan Patan needed. He's off to a great start. Yunus Khan is gone for two Pakistan. Four down now for 47. Well, getting a little more bounce there, uh, Irfan Patan. And yes, movement as well. And off the glove and a little bit of bat as well. I think he was ringing his gloves as he went off. Inside edging onto the uh, stumps. Irfan Patan very happy. There he is. You can quite clearly see he's uh, hurt, Yunus Khan. Two wickets have gone down very quickly. Kamran Akmal, Yunus Khan both in the hut. Short one's been put away by Shweb Malik for four. He's off the mark with a very good shot. That should release a bit of pressure. That'll run away as well. Doesn't matter how they come. But that was a fine delivery. And he's starting to get the ball to swing now. Raval Pindi and Raj Corden all over Islamabad and uh, for a man from a suburb of Sydney. Jeff Lawson's expression has changed somewhat harsher, isn't it? Well, that'll help. That'll help. They need more of those. 55 from 31 now. Well, that's more like it. A bit of intent from the batsman. A bit of aggression. Going for that big shot. Letting the bowler control the situation. Taking a chance. Going for the big mid-wicket heave. Every batsman's played that shot. And he's had success with it. I think those dancers are the only genuinely neutral people in this ground. Right, Shoaib Malik, 20, Ms. Baulhaf, 19. Up, fielder under it. Taken, Pakistan lose one more. They had to do that. And who knows, could this be a blessing in disguise? Well, I'm not sure, sure whether Jeff Lawson, the Pakistan coach, will be too unhappy with that because that allows Alfredi to the wicket. Pakistan, 87 for 5. Yes, Boom Boom has arrived into the centre. Uh, Pakistan having a job on their hands. 54 from 29. If anyone can uh, turn this match on its head, it's Afridi. That's up in the air. Agarkar going underneath it and puts it down. adding insult to injury smash back past Agarkar into the fence that's on the air man coming underneath it Dinesh Karthik making no mistake and uh, the Terminator gets his man a freebie departs it's number six that goes down for Pakistan and the Indian flags in the crowd all waving. 103 for six. Yasser Arafat has come out to the middle. Pakistan just losing their way now. And that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. It's gone the distance as well. You saw in the game against Scotland. He played a very handy innings low down the order. Well, just uh, losing it for a moment, uh, Harbhajan Singh, after that wicket of Afridi. India cannot afford to relax just because Afridi is out. He goes again, and then again he's found the gap. And will get the boundary. So good finish, six and a boundary. 
to end the over. 18 gone. It's uh, 113 for six. So just two overs to go. Miss Paul Huck on strike. Ajit Akarkar in his final over. Let's heed the way on the onside. This is uh, some good uh, deliveries for Pakistan. Three, a six boundary, and now another boundary of the last three balls. 25 from level. That's clever. Very clever. Gets the boundary. Smart cricket by Ms. Baulak. He's keeping his cool. He's on 41 of just 30. And with the fielder in at uh, short final, this shot was always going to be on. Very well executed by Miss Paul Huck. Fifteen runs coming from that over. This is going to be a big, big over. Either which way. For India or for Pakistan. Uh, just a single. What will help Pakistan is a boundary or a six of the first three balls. One has been bowled. That's a terrific shot. One pounds over the rope. It's seven needed from four. And the Pakistani supporters realize and sense that they have a great chance here. It's a terrific fight back. Once again, that sort of a game. Once again, a length ball and smashed away. Despair on the other side. Go for one, run for the second, and get it easily. Seven runs to get, three balls to go. That's gone through. Just one leader for Pakistan. The scores are tied. Pakistan know they can't lose this. Like all India-Pakistan matches, this match has gone down to the wire. And don't forget that with that uh, shot, Miss Paul Huck has got a great half century, making room and driving the ball straight past mid-off. Terrific way to get to what is a terrific half century. 53 from just 34 balls, eight boundaries. What's uh, been great about this innings is his composure. Wickets have fallen around him, he's kept his cool and now has the opportunity to finish things off for Pakistan. Once the single sent back, one to go, one run to get. Dhoni was aware they might go for the bye. And uh, remember, tie would mean a bowl out. It will be five bowlers will bowl one ball each. Only the bowler and the keeper in that case, but just one needed for Pakistan. Missed bounce strike. They go for it. There's a chance of a run out, and he gets it. The match ends in a tie. What a finish to an India Pakistan game. This game at top billing. And it's ended in that fashion. Neither team wins. Both teams go through to the Super 8, that's for sure. Just what the doctor ordered as far as the crowd was concerned. Have a look at the Indian team.
Yes, they are delighted. It's disappointment there for Pakistan because the last two deliveries were dot balls. In fact, the last delivery missed Paul Huck, who batted splendidly, was run out, wasn't quite able to get uh, that ball in the middle of the bat, and the ball just uh, trickling away to extra cover. Simple throw for the ball uh, for the uh, fielder to give to the bowler, and a tie.